We begin with breaking news at 11 with uh, a police pursuit in Van Nuys. We have Stu Mandel in Sky 2. Stu, you've been following this. I'm taking a look at it for the first time. What do you have? Well, we are on the 405 southbound, Jeff, and you know what? They, I'm sure they're going to roll some tape on that. It just got into some kind of crazy accident. It was on Van Owen right before the 405 freeway. Densmore was the street. This is the work van, stolen work van, and apparently he made this hard turn. We watched it. He actually got, he actually lost control, crashed, and when officers got up behind him, he actually backed up, knocked down some poles, and then got, got out of that area and got onto the southbound 405 freeway. Now, that van, ever since then, it it really seems to be it's pulling to the left side to the right side you can see it pulling over this way again it's using the, uh, every uh, every means possible to get away from officers they have a helicopter above and you know you can't run from the helicopter the ground units are still in pursuit this is a stolen vehicle possibly two people inside a work van and we just saw some dramatic footage as this guy's trying to get away from officers now it looks like we're going to be exiting at Burbank all right, so we're on the 405 South getting off at oh, Burbank. Is that right? So now we're, we're nope, based. Nope. No, no, no. We're e sorry about that. We're going to be eastbound. Sorry. Eastbound on the 101. That was eastbound on the 101 right there. Sorry about that, Jeff. Now All we're right. on the 101 freeway. Established eastbound. But you can see that front wheel uh, is starting to throw some sparks. It is. And it may, he might even have lost a tire. And if he hasn't, it's going to happen here shortly. Probably that bumper rubbing against that front wheel. Now, it, the vehicle's really been pulling hard to the uh, left ever since that uh, incident there at Densmore and Van Owen. But this vehicle continuing to move out here at high speeds now on the 101 freeway. Yeah. LAPD helicopter above it. So they're going to keep an eye on this. Not well. Well, now wait, is this a following, Stu, or are we in a pursuit? Do we have black and whites behind oh, this us? Is a, uh, you know what? I think, no, there they are, right? Yeah, there they, they are. are definitely right behind them. And they have been behind him. This was a full-on pursuit uh, earlier on when this vehicle tried to make that getaway and crashed. Uh, those officers were right there. They were right behind it. It looked like it was over. And then this vehicle threw it in a reverse and really kind of pushed his way out of there. Thank goodness he hadn't made any contact with any other vehicles or the PD vehicles. Uh, now, this is the first time we're actually, uh, Brandon's actually uh -oh. kind of putting us in a position where we can see in that front window. Really want to see if there's two people in there. We heard earlier on two, uh, two folks inside that front two suspects uh, but this vehicle high speeds and you know with that kind of rubbing going on on that front wheel if that tire goes it won't be that slow uh, you know letting that air out this tire could literally just pop and that could create some real stability problems for this well, van. I'm not sure what's causing the sparks if the tire is still inflated Stu. And, oh it's rubbing up against the uh, the left the right quarter panel I guess maybe that's yeah, right it. it's actually against that bumper yeah it's against right the right quarter panel against right. that bumper right there and and if that if that continues, that tire could actually get a you know rub it rub itself into a hole. And if that happens, that tire is just going to blow. It's not going to be one of those slow like when they do a spike strips. And at these high speeds on the 101, take a look at this. He's just passing everybody down there. Going to get a little bit wider as we're going to get some trees and maybe that sound wall in the way. Uh, west, uh, sorry, eastbound 101 freeway. We're going to be coming up into the Studio City area. Yep. We'll be passing the studio here in just a moment. All right, 101 eastbound. If you uh, if you live in this area, obviously this is not a good time to uh, head out to the grocery store and get on the 101. The uh, is this the LAPD pursuing this, Stu? Or we have CHP Definitely now? Definitely LAPD this. van. Is no, no, it's all LAPD, and uh, it's, it was Van Nuys Division. Started in the right. Van Nuys area, uh, and they got behind it, ran the plates, found out that it was a stolen vehicle, and uh, you know they did everything like they always do: get their ducks in a row before they turn on their lights and siren. They did all that. And then uh, it just went right away, went to pursuit. Uh, it was right by the Van Nuys Airport. Uh, very convenient for us. Yeah, uh, right. But right now, we're uh, going to be on the uh, 101, and it's still continuing to move at pretty high speeds this evening. Uh, LAPD uh, still behind it, helicopter still above it. Cross an overpass there, or I should say an underpass. So we're probably at what, Laurel? And he's going to have a, a choice to make on the, whether he's going to take the 101 or the 134. Uh, and that's coming up very quickly. Um, not that it really Very makes quickly. any difference to the LAPD. He's moving to the left lanes, which would indicate he's going to take the 134. I'm not seeing the sparks right. coming out of that right, right front as much as we did before. Uh, this, uh, this person is traveling at least 25 to 30 miles an hour faster than the, uh, the flow of traffic. And at this hour, by the way, the 101, you can, you 101. can get moving about 75 miles an hour. Nope, took the 101. 101. Yep. Took the 101. Definitely the 101. So he's probably doing what, about 80, 80 miles an hour? 
I'm doing that right now. And you know what? Excellent guess. We're doing about 81 as we're tracking them in uh, Sky 2 this evening. So just about 80 miles an hour down there. LAPD helicopter, they're providing the light. You can see them kind of on, on the right, uh, the, the left side of the screen right there. And uh, they're pretty much got a distance away. But that... Uh, but that light, light, lighting them up, hopefully getting some of these uh, folks on the roadway, at least giving them a little bit heads up. And then, of course, those lights and sirens. Now, this vehicle moving very, very quickly. We're getting into the Universal Studio area right now. Haven't seen this thing slow down at all. Pretty much as soon as he got behind, those officers got behind him with the lights and sirens. This driver put the foot in it, and uh, it's been that way pretty much ever since. Very high speeds, lots of maneuvering out there. And when we saw this van making those turns earlier on on the streets it was swaying around a lot now with this damage you just got to worry that uh, some of that swaying might not might create some sort of accident well you know the good news uh, for for LAPD is they worry about public safety is that the uh, even the 101 it doesn't have a lot of traffic on it at this hour as he gets into downtown right. LA and Hollywood it certainly will um, but not right now. So he, he puts fewer people in danger than he would say if this was happening at five o'clock. Um, all right, this guy is, seems to be cheating to the right as if he wants to get off. Uh, not a lot of cars in front of him. Staying off to the right as if he wants to uh, keep his options open on whether to take exits. Hollywood's a, uh, a, a good place if, if he's familiar with it to get off. He can try to get lost in Hollywood a lot easier than he can if he stays on the 101. Uh, after that, in about three and a half miles, he gets into downtown Los Angeles, um, and that becomes a little bit of a different animal entirely. You see that thing swaying. Yeah. You can see that, that van just swaying, rocking back and forth. Uh, we've, already, we've already done Barham, and uh, we're making our way into the Hollywood area right now. That actually might be the Highland off-ramp if he uh, stays in that lane. He seems to be uh, pretty happy with the freeway as it, as it has been. And this is uh, this is good for the uh, folks on the uh, on the streets. That's for sure. A little bit uh, more wide open. There is some traffic coming up, though. You're right. Even this time of night, looking up ahead, if uh, if he makes it over to the 110. It almost looks like it is slow and go over there this time of night. They might have some road construction going on. Not sure what that's all about, but I see a lot of brake lights as we just get past, as we if, if we get past the Vermont uh, off ramp. Right now, those uh, we are in the Hollywood area. You can see other vehicles pulling onto the freeway as this van continues to try to elude officers from LAPD. Stolen vehicle involved in a uh, in at least in a one crash that we saw when the officers uh, were trying to pull them over. High speed. Speeds, this uh, van wobbling a lot, very concerned about, uh, I am, very concerned about the stability of that van. Don't want to see this thing roll over. Don't want to see the suspects get hurt. Definitely don't want to see anybody innocent on the roadway get hurt. Well, and, you know, this is certainly a uh, what they call a crime of opportunity because this guy certainly wouldn't have chosen to steal a, a, a van with, you know, I mean, one headlight. Quality jet router. You feel sorry for the, uh, for the businessman who doesn't have a van to... Uh, to use in the morning when he needs to go out and, and get to work and feed his family. Instead, his van, oh, his he's business. Off, he's off, he's off, yes, he's off, he's off, he's off. He's pushing cars, oh, pushing out, of the way. cars out of the way. Just the and th this is what we were seeing earlier on. This person using every means possible to get away from those officers. Also, Jeff, just so you know, when this when we first picked this up, it had two headlights. All that damage oh. we see on that front right there, that was all from earlier on, but that first crash. This was uh, on, uh, excuse me, on Vermont right there. He, he was just pushing those vehicles out of the way. Uh, now we're making our way. I'm trying to just get a, a peek out the window to get an idea exactly where we are. Go north uh, we're on gonna Vermont. We're going to move Sky 2 around. Northbound on Vermont, still yep. high speeds, making our way into the Hollywood area. But uh, this vehicle seems to be slowing down. Now, that, I don't know if that's because he's uh, planning something or may, uh, nope, he's not even slowing down. No. He maybe he just took his foot off the gas there for a minute. Continuing now, you can see these high speeds, and we're going to get uh, the helicopter right over it as we're actually on Hollywood Boulevard as I'm looking out the window oh. right now, making our way, making our way out uh, towards the Las Feliz area. Yeah, he's going to get into Los Feliz. He'll have fewer, uh, fewer, well, I don't know if he'd have fewer choices or not, but uh, he's going to go up through Thai Town. And, Whoops. Oh, lost him there, taking a left-hand turn, trying to get to a dark area so maybe he can bail into an alley. And the car's coming to a stop right. No, it's not. You know, that light, just when they think they're in the dark, just when they think they've gotten away, 
that night sun can cause a lot of adrenaline because it's very confusing when you see, you know, that kind of uh, that kind of light in front of you when you think you're in the pitch black and instead the LAPD has not coming lost track around, of you. Coming back around, coming back around. Hollywood and Normandy. So what? So now we're going to be from Hollywood. We're on Winona right now. We're on Winona. It almost seems like uh, again. We, you know, I hate trying to guess, trying to out figure out what's going on in these people's minds. But it does definitely seem like he's made his way to this area. And that driving down that alleyway right there, it seemed to know that uh, know that that uh, alley had a, a way out. Uh, right now we're on Franklin from Winona. It's going to be eastbound, making our way right underneath Sky 2 this evening. That van took in a lot of abuse this evening, and it still continues to wobble. But he still keeps the, he still seems to have his foot in the, on that accelerator. Uh, LAPD on the ground down there, stale red coming up, going to get a little bit wider. You got some other people out there. And, you know, there you go. That white car right there, mm -hmm. it kind of slowed down. So maybe it was the lights and sirens. Maybe it was the night sun. Looks like we're going to be making a southbound, uh, southbound on the western. On the western. That's what he said. I, I think they, on the western. Yeah. Yeah, I'm following here. Yeah, heading the back toward continues. the. He's heading back toward the 101. When he got off that freeway, he showed his intentions. When he pushed those cars out of the way, he uh, he. Whoa. About, whoa! Almost head on into an LAPD car. All right, and and. Uh, the helicopter, that guy, the, whoever the, uh, the observer is in the LAPD helicopter, doing an amazing job out there trying to get these units uh, into place uh, back on, on the Highland. <clears throat> and it looks like uh, they're talking about possibly the 101. He's going over yeah. it right now. Oh, he's missed the 101. And continuing on. And you can see, see that was where the TA was. Out here that's, that's where the traffic accident uh, was. Yes, it was. Yeah. That's where it was. And those cars are still uh, <clears throat> facing the wrong direction. That van swaying. Oh, there's a lot of traffic coming up. If we could get Sky 2 more to the right, we got a lot of traffic coming up in some buildings, so I'm kind of concerned that he's going to have, uh, have, some, uh, have some issues. We saw what he did last time. We just want to make. Uh, See, he's coming up on Hollywood and Gower right now. Going to get a little bit wider uh, as we get m more over the... Uh, look at all that traffic out there. He has an open lane in the oncoming, but still, at these high speeds, it's very dangerous. Looks like we're going to be doing a southbound turn now on Vine <clears throat> from Hollywood, and he's going to be making his way southbound now. But these high speeds wow. and that kind of van, and it's just you're just uh, amazed that he's, uh, he's still, uh, still driving. Westbound Selma, and he's going to be making another southbound turn. We'll get him when he pops out. It is more difficult, we'll even for the out. LAPD, to keep an eye on him as low as they fly. And by the way, everybody, we whoa, coming out through there. We fly quite a bit higher uh, than the LAPD does. Stu, what are those? What are those laser lights there that look like? Uh, whoa! whoa. Uh, Yes, and, you know that, no, that is. Sense. Those are just the uh, lights, uh, lights, uh, lights of the Hollywood area. Okay, it's, all right. It, it's, it's still got the nightlife going on down there. Uh, this van, though, look at the damage on oh, that thing, and it's just wobbling around high speeds, and you don't know what's in it. Uh, you know, we look at we're trying to read the name of the the company. The quality right there. Jet Ruder. Don't know it's, if they have. It, yeah, it's a it's, yeah, a, it's so a plumber. It's a plumber's truck. Yeah. yeah. So those vans can be very they can be loaded with a lot of stuff. So this thing could be very heavy. Cutting another sharp turn up on, right there up on, on the, the oh, hit the there sidewalk. Go. That's going to take out that right hit front the, tire. It, oh, now look at the right there, front wheel. The right front wheel is yep. coming off. Oh, Hits it again. Oh, yep. It, it, he's hitting parked cars apparently here under right, up, right by the building. I can't see. Looks that like he stopped in front of that hotel. In front of yep. that motel, <laughs> LAPD coming in, pinning him in. The question uh, one is, one guy running north. The question is, did he bail? Yes, he did. Yep. Somebody oh, there's did somebody. run apparently. Two officers there with their it. guns drawn. One, at least one person on the ground. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. So that's one. Yeah, uh, that's one. Uh, and apparently, that's the passenger. So the driver's still inside there. Uh, but wow, what a what a crazy chase! What a what an ending that happened out here. Uh, again, these are parked vehicles. Well, I guess there was somebody inside that car, at least, even though it was sitting yeah, there. Yeah, getting that person out, getting them to safety. They're just. 
They're just making sure that uh, they're out of the way. But uh, that driver not getting out. It looks like the door might be popping open, I but uh, or maybe that's just a reflection. So. Well, that, might, the first uh, thing those LAPD officers else. want to see is two hands outside that window, because they uh, they there are no windows looking into that van, so they don't have a clear line of sight into that van. They don't know what that whether that person is armed or not. And as you say, we haven't yep. seen any indication that that driver's door has opened. And certainly if the person they, did build, they're not going to take the time to shut the door. So we have to believe that someone's in there. Well, they're using the light. I, we're trying to see ourselves. It definitely seems to be somebody inside that vehicle. So there's, the driver's still in there. But you can see the officers making, were making an approach, but uh, slowed it down. Stuart, are we in front uh, of a motel? Are we in front of, of a hotel there? Yeah, the Highland. The, so you, that's yep. the backdrop for these officers. So you have you have guests staying in those rooms, and that is the backdrop for the line of fire for those officers. The last thing they want to do is have to uh, open fire on a van, knowing that there are hotel guests in the line of fire behind that van. Well, I don't see any uh, any green stripes on any of the weapons down there. So these are all uh, lethal weapons. Yeah. Those are shotguns yeah. and. Uh, and and just regular handguns so uh these officers they're trying to they're obviously they want this guy to give up peacefully uh but right now that driver's still inside that van uh, i don't know if he can get out maybe that door is wedged but if they can't they're definitely telling him to get out onto the uh passenger side i'm told that but, the uh, I'm, I'm told that that's actually a condominium it's not a hotel so that's no no different actually knowing that there are people inside um but just a, a, a Point of distinction. Is he moving out? Can't see him. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Jeff Michael, along with Stu Mundell up in Sky Two, a uh, pursuit that began uh, out in the Sherman Oaks Van Nuys area, stolen uh, plumber's truck of all things, and uh, this guy did not want to stop. Here you see video earlier of the moves this this uh, person made. He hit signs. He uh, he busted through a gate. He uh, came off the freeway and uh, pushed himself through about three or four cars, causing damage to other cars. Uh, he backed up, see that sign that just went down right there? Backed up that LAPD car, back out on the road, knocked out his own headlight as he did it. Had front right wheel damage during almost all of the pursuit until he got off the, uh, the 101 and started speeding through the streets of Hollywood. Hollywood, Vine, Franklin. Many streets, and then finally, as he was making a, a left turn, there's the, the cars he came through when he got off the freeway. And then finally, as, as he was making a left turn, he uh, took his right front wheel out when he hit a, a sidewalk, and that there he almost came head on into a, a LAPD car. So he has put well, himself and a lot that, of pe a lot of people in damage. There's the final blow to his right yeah. front wheel that took the wheel off. Well, you know, all that, all that standoff, all that activity right there, and you know what? That might have just been shadows up there inside the van. We've been listening uh, to the, uh, to the uh, LAPD. They, they were under the impression that there might have been somebody inside that vehicle as well. They're still, uh, they're still in the clearing stage, uh, but it looks like now, take a look at that. I, I don't know. Well, Maybe he went, I don't know if he could get into the back of that van, but it did definitely appear to be somebody in the driver's seat earlier on, but... Uh, you know, I've been wrong in the past. Well, I'll be wrong in the future, and, and I might have been wrong just a few moments and ago. And you know, Stu, it's not out of the realm of possibility that he crawled over and got out through the passenger side. So we could have one person here, and the person in custody is the driver. Well, we don't know, but that's a, that's yeah. a possibility. That's right. But earlier on, they definitely were saying two suspects inside that vehicle. And in the end, there might only be one. These officers still very standoffish. They have uh, they have their uh, armored plates. And they uh, now they're approaching the back there, so it, it's a good possibility it was just that one person, and now they're just going to be clearing this van. But at, at any rate, thank goodness, no innocent people. And you know that's the thing too. We don't really know when he got off at Hollywood Boulevard. He really hit some of those vehicles very hard. Hopefully, all those folks, it's just going to be damage to their vehicles, and they didn't get injured in that in those uh, collisions. Right now, though, there's still no code four, meaning that uh, officers are still on alert. There could still be somebody inside that vehicle. 
but uh, that van definitely stopped right now, and officers from LAPD, they have to clear it to make sure there is nobody else inside that van. And this is where, and now this they're is where bringing right a canine now. unit in would really help you because you, you can send a dog in, and that dog can clear a van very quickly. And, uh, the, yep. hand, and the canine officer can tell whether the dog is alerting to somebody in the van or not. Just... Well, official word right now, we just heard it, code four, meaning nobody okay. else inside that van. So that person we saw getting taken into custody was the driver. Pursuit coming to an end out here in Hollywood, uh, near High on Highland, in the Hollywood area. All right. Stu Mundell and Sky 2. Stu, thanks for that update.